everybody, I hope you're well. Welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do a what I got for my 30th birthday video. I've never done one of these before, but I saw that Lucy Wood did one a couple of weeks ago when she turned 30 in April and I thought it'd be quite nice to document this and it'd be nice to look back on um, when I'm 40 or 50 or 60, hopefully, if I get to that age, fingers crossed. Um, so yeah, I thought it'd be quite fun to do this video and since Casey has now gone down for bedtime, I thought it'd be nice to sit down and quickly film this video because it's actually still a little bit sunny outside. So I thought it'd be a good time to quickly do it. And I've got all my bits here that I'm going to talk about. So yeah, I turned 30 on the 16th of May. It's been a week, currently the Wednesday after my birthday. And basically, I'm not gonna lie guys, I'm milking it. <laughs> I'm milking this birthday because it's a big one. And yeah, so this whole week we've been doing some fun stuff. Adam's had the week off. So we've been doing some really nice things. On Monday, we went to Cambridge and we did a bit of shopping and went for lunch at the Giggling Squid. And then yesterday we traveled to a little town about 20 minutes away from where we live um, called Stamford and lunch date, just the two of us at the George Hotel. And that was amazing. The mussels on the lunchtime menu they're incredible, like so good. They're so, so good. And today we went to a really, really lovely um, afternoon tea cafe um, in the middle of town. So that was so nice. And I'm not entirely sure what he has planned for the rest of the week. Hi friends, so I thought I would just interrupt the video because I thought I'd tell you that I found out what he had planned for the rest of the week. And I will insert the video here. So yeah. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll already know this, but I will pop the video here so you can see what happened the Saturday after my birthday. And yeah, I mean, it's being resized. But yeah, very exciting, but more on that in another video. Back to this one. So like Lucy, if you've watched Lucy's video, I'll link it down below if you haven't. This feels like a really big birthday. I'm not sure why but it does. The day before I got really teary about it. And I think it's because this birthday really feels like you're grown up. Does that make sense? I, it's such a weird thing to think about because I, if I look back, I imagine my mum as being 30 when I was really little. And at that age, when you're really, really little, you're still a child and you look at your mum, was 30 just seems like a really grown up age and I really found that a little bit overwhelming because I definitely don't feel like a grown up um don't get me wrong I definitely have to have my shit together I have two kids and a house and I'm in the process of you know changing careers and I'm definitely a grown up but in my head I still feel like I'm 19 years old and that I shouldn't have all of this responsibility. It's so weird. But in saying that, as Lucy said, I feel more sure about myself, if that makes sense. And that is a nice feeling to have. I don't know what it is about being 30 or reaching this age that's made me feel like that, but it definitely has. I feel a lot more sure about myself, what I like and what I don't like. And that is a really nice feeling. It's settling and it's taken this long for me to realize that. Um, I don't have to impress anybody. I, 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 don't, I don't need to please anyone but myself. Um, so yeah, it's a nice feeling, weird, really weird, but a nice feeling. So I'm, feeling so blessed, which I know is such a lame thing to say, but I am really feeling blessed to have been able to reach this age. And I think my mindset in thinking that way has completely changed because of a conversation that I had with one of my colleagues, one of my old colleagues, Alex actually, and she was only maybe 23 at the time. And this was two years ago. And she was saying she feels really blessed be able to grow older because not many people do and 
it's so true and especially now during this year yeah I feel really lucky to be able to reach 30 so yeah my birthday in general was just such a lovely day um I went downstairs Adam had blown up balloons that were all on the ceiling he'd made us such a lovely breakfast that all four of us shared together which was really nice because that doesn't tend to happen um and then I opened my presents and I got ready really early so that I could make the most feeling nice for the day and then my parents came over in the evening and we had some um, dinner and of course it was Thai food because it's my favourite and it's Adam's favourite as well so we got it from our favourite place in town and yeah it was just so lovely so yeah I had a really really lovely day and I got the most incredible gifts and I can't wait to share them with you because I've been very spoilt this year, really, really spoilt. So without further ado, let's get cracking. I'll show you what I got for my birthday. I was very kindly gifted loads and loads of gift cards um, from my best friends. And I got loads and loads of bouquets of flowers as well, which was so lovely. I will, I will insert clips of some of the flowers that I got. And yeah, it's just so lovely. Um, I got flowers from my friends, Megan and Maz. Um, my beautiful friend who got married the day before my birthday as well, which is amazing, Jessica and her new husband, Ashley, which was so lovely. I got a huge bouquet from Adam and yeah, they, they're so beautiful and they're still thriving downstairs, but I do need to change the water tonight um, so that they live a little bit longer. So I was really lucky. I got loads and loads of flowers and some um, gift cards. So I got a really, really generous gift card from my friends Megan and Maz um, for Netta Porte. So that'll be really good. I'm going to have a little scroll of the website tonight, but I'm thinking that I might save it for a pair of Gucci loafers. God knows when I'll be able to afford those, but yeah, I'm thinking that's what I'm going to do because I do need a really good pair of shoes for next year and I want a pair of shoes that'll last me for a very long time and it just seems like everybody says the Gucci loafers are those shoes if you want them to last and are amazing quality but we'll see we'll see I'm gonna have a little look tonight and see if I can find any that I like got some really lovely vouchers from my brother and his girlfriend for Zara H&M voucher from my best friend Shan and um, a really lovely voucher from Adam's parents as well. So yeah, that was really, really nice. And from my very, very kind and very generous best friend, Sean, I got a couple of gifts. Every single year she gets me loads and loads of sweets and Adam actually said to me, the reason I didn't get you any sweets is because I knew Sean would. So she got me a huge bag of sour jelly beans because she knows they're my favorite. And yeah, I am ready to devour those. Um, so yeah, that's what she got me. So she, then she got me some really lovely bits to start my teacher training. So this little notebook has my name on it and some cute little butterflies. So that'll come in very useful next year. And then she very kindly got me this teacher training notebook for the years 2021 to 2022 from the Positive Teacher Company. And this is incredible. I don't know if I would have been able to get this anywhere else because um, so it goes through like teacher standards. I don't know if this is of interest to anybody, but um, it talks about placement information and then it goes through um, placement targets. There's people focus, consultations and appointments each month as well. And then planning, lesson planning. So it's separated little um, sections for your plans for the week so that is just brilliant um, I will try and find it online and link it down below if this is something that you're interested in but I'm feeling very lucky to be able to do this because I'm already panicking about the amount of work that I'm going to have next year and this is definitely going to make life a load easier once I start my course as I said she got me a really generous voucher from um, H&M and her final gift to me was something that I wasn't expecting at all. So a couple of weeks ago, I'll give you the little background story to it. I was having a look for some birthday dresses and I actually treated myself to one um, for my birthday, which I will show you at the end of this video. But 
I was having a look for some dresses and I went on to eBay to see if I could find any specific ones that I liked. Um, I really like the strappy dresses from Reformation. So I searched for that on eBay and I managed to find some dupes from a vintage store on eBay that I think is called Goldie Flower or Gold Flower. I'll link it down below. The most beautiful vintage clothes on Instagram and I will leave the link down below because I love everything she shares and I'm tempted to get more. Um, so I actually managed to get myself a green Reformation dupe dress, like the strappy ones and like with the straps. And then I also got myself one of the dresses that has the lemon print and it's such a gorgeous dress. I'm having a conversation on WhatsApp about these dresses because she said she really liked the ones that I found and we were talking about them and she mentioned that she had a reformation dress for her sister's wedding and the dress that she had was absolutely beautiful it was this gorgeous green um dress i think it's still actually on the website so um yeah it was just this beautiful green dress and she looked amazing in it and obviously reformation dresses are ridiculously priced they're so expensive but i can understand why so she, she regularly sends me dresses that she thinks I would look nice in because she's just that type of person. So I didn't even think of anything of it. And she sent me a gr red gingham dress from Reformation that was just beautiful. It was so, so stunning. And um, yeah, when I opened the package um, on Monday, this was in the package. Shana had only gone and bought me the freaking dress. Like, what? So it's this beautiful, beautiful gingham square neck dress. Like, it's stunning. The sizes are definitely true to size. I'm size eight and this fits beautifully, beautifully. I can completely understand why they are the prices they are because the material is gorgeous, the zip is beautiful. I can put this on myself and take it off myself. The sleeves are just stunning. The neckline is sort of, not fully square, sort of like a sweetheart neckline. It's just so beautiful. You're so, so lucky to own one. It's just <laughs> stunning. It's got the ruching at the back here so it fits you nicely and once it's zipped up it just cinches you in all the right places um it's got a little hem here and then a sexy little slit on the side as well and it's just absolutely beautiful just gorgeous i'm still trying to find an occasion to wear this dress but I might just sit around in it to be honest because it is that beautiful and I feel so lucky to have such a lovely friend like Sean to have bought me this gorgeous dress. So thank you Sean. So next I will go through some of the gifts that Adam very kindly bought me as well. So for Christmas and for my birthday Adam usually gets me bits or like whether that be food or bits of jewellery or a little care package. So he's really thoughtful in that way. He'll listen to what tiny things that I mention here and there and then he'll get them for me which is just really lovely of him and for this birthday in particular this wasn't an exception he did exactly the same thing although for this birthday I think he really felt like he needed to step up a little bit and he told me the night before he told me on my birthday that he didn't sleep very well the night before because he just wanted me to have a really lovely day which is really sweet and yeah, I'm very lucky to have such a loving partner. So the gifts that he got me were just perfect. And he'd actually asked me to make a list of some of the items that I would have dreamed of getting for my 30th birthday. And of course, this list included things like a Chanel bag and Gucci loafers and all the dream items that I would have wanted for my birthday. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get any of those because we bought a kitchen and that vlog is also coming soon. And that's fine, we got a new kitchen. I love our kitchen, but some of the bits that he already got me for my birthday from that list, I can't believe I have. I own these things and I can't believe it. 
I'll start off with some of the smaller bits that he got me. Particular South African goodies. So if you're South African, you'll understand how delicious these items are. If you're not, then you're probably wondering why I'm holding a drink that looks like a bottle of poison because it's green. Um, this is cream soda and I just, I can't even explain what it is because it's not the same as British cream soda. Just trust me when I say it's delicious because it is, it's so good. And then obviously Simba chips. Um, and this is the chutney flavored potato chips. Again, trust me when I say these are delicious. As well as those bits, he also got me biltong. And if you're South African, you'll know that biltong is also delicious. And he got me a huge, huge bag of it. So I am very excited to sit down and inhale the whole bag. <laughs> So as well as that, he very, very kindly got me a couple of pieces from Daisy Jewelry because he knows that I love Daisy Jewelry. And what he got me was this gorgeous silver bracelet, if that'll focus, and this lovely plain bracelet. What I have a rose gold watch and I usually also wear um, gold jewelry on my neck. So. Um, what I've been doing is actually mixing this, these up with um, my gold bracelets as well and it's been quite nice actually mixing metals and yeah they're just beautiful and I love them and he also bought me this gorgeous necklace well, so I suppose the children bought me this one but it's this gorgeous gorgeous gold necklace with um, mama on it and it's just my favourite thing ever I've wanted one of those for ages. So when I opened it, I was like, oh my God. So yeah, feeling very lucky that I managed to be, that I was able to get one of those. It's just beautiful. So next is something that I've been wanting for ever, for a very, very long time. And photography isn't really my strong point, but I love doing it anyway. So he actually managed to get me a little Olympus point and shoot. Now, from what he said, I think he was trying really, really hard to get one on best offer or um, bidding on eBay. And they were all going for ridiculous prices because everybody wants these. And um, in the end, his words, he panic bought this on Buy It Now. So yeah, I'm feeling very lucky to have been able to get one of these and I can't wait to take more photos on this. He also got me some film and some batteries that came with the camera. So I'm very excited to try this. And um, we have taken a couple of pictures. So yeah, really looking forward to using this more when we go out and about when we're actually allowed. Um, and yeah, so this is the Olympus Muju. I think it's what, what it's called, the Zoom 80. And you basically just pull this to this side. And then the thing flashes, the flash comes out and so does the lens. And when you want to um, close it, you just push it and it just goes back in and then you shut it. And then obviously, as you can see here, it uses film. So yeah, feeling very lucky to have been able to get one of those. I just can't believe I own this now. It's mad. Yeah, my collection of cameras is increasing and yeah, I don't hate it. And next is something that I've wanted for a very, very long time, but I've just never found the timing right to be able to actually treat myself to one of these myself. And now more than ever, is definitely not a time that I thought I would have been able to treat myself to one of these because mat leave, mat leave, redundancy, you know you know what it's like if you've had a baby and the money runs out this week i would have had to go back to work so yeah it's um been tough so when i opened this i was literally like i can't believe that i own this it's insane so he actually got me an anina bing tea and it's the helena one and it's just <laughs> gorgeous perfect oversized fit and i love it so much i can't believe he bought me this i literally can't believe he bought me this i was not expecting it at all you know when you put something down you're like this this is my dream list 
of things that I would like for as a gift and even if I got like a box of chocolates that's absolutely fine because I understand times are tough we have been buying a kitchen you know we've got two kids to look after but the fact that he actually got me this is just insane I f I'm I'm so excited to wear this because it's beautiful and the last thing that Adam got me for my birthday was a pair of trainers again I was not expecting these whatsoever so when I opened the box I was just like oh my god have you actually <laughs> and it is the cream pair of the Comme de Garçon um, Converse and I have Yes, I have put them back in the box to show you the box um, because I wore them today. I took these trainers for such a long time and they just look like this. They've got a black line on the back, the obviously the Converse All Star sign on the inside, and then the Comme de Garçon um, logo on this side. It is a bit of a platform as well, and this is what they look like from the front but they're beautiful trainers and true to size if these trainers are a pair that you are looking for um but yeah they fit really nicely and they go with loads and loads of outfits because they're cream so definitely going to be one of my favorite summer shoes i reckon and then lastly is the gift that i got myself now i know i just explained about mount leave but you're only 30 once guys and i felt like i needed to treat myself the last year although I obviously had a baby and that was incredible, was difficult. It was really, really difficult. And I was so worried about not being able to celebrate, celebrate my birthday properly um, because I wasn't able to last year. So I bought myself a dress. Why not? And I got it from Zezanne and just, God. The packaging is just stunning, isn't it? My name is on the box, guys. Look at that. Like what? The inside smells incredible. What do they douse this stuff with? Because it smells beautiful. I'm really into florals at the moment. And, and after seeing this on Amy from The Little Magpie, if you're not following Amy you should but chances are you probably are because she's incredible um she shared this dress called Hanoi oh my god it smells beautiful um yeah I think it's called Hanoi on the website and again it's just a square neck dress it is a mini dress and it zips up there's ruching on the back as well like the reformation dress What's lovely about this dress though is that you can wear a regular bra with it and then it's got little poppers here so that you can put your straps your bra straps in and then hide them print is just beautiful get close up look at that i think they've got it in a couple of colorways as well and yeah it's just yeah so it's the robe alexandra hanoi and I got it in a UK size 8. It definitely is true to size, I reckon. Um, and just the label. It's just so lovely. Look at that. So yeah. I'm so pleased. I'm so pleased. So there you have it. That is a couple of the beautiful, beautiful birthday gifts that I got this year. And yeah, I am feeling so lucky. I don't know how many times I have to say that because... I can't believe I own all of these things now and the fact that I have such amazing friends and family and yeah I can't wait to wear all of these things and put them on and yeah excited definitely be sharing what we're doing this weekend I have absolutely no idea um the weather has been pants this week so confusing definitely hoping that the rain will stay away for Saturday and Sunday because Adam's told me to keep those two days free so yeah I'm excited. I wanted to do something outside, so I really, really hope that the rain stays away so we're able to do that. Although looking outside now, it is pouring with rain, even though the sun is out. Yeah, so yeah, that was my little birthday haul and I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you in my next video. Bye.